Hey friends, uh, Coach Allison here, coming to you again with Coffee Talk. Uh, today I want to just jump right in and we are going to chat about why personal and professional development is a game changer for your career, right? Um, so when I talk about personal and professional development, I'm talking about doing some work for yourself. So personal development would be something like um, diving into things about mindset. Um, a lot of my favorite authors are like Brene Brown and Rachel Hollis and Lewis Howes, like all people who are gonna really fill your cup up. And like when I say fill your cup, I mean like re-energize you so that you can be a better version of yourself so then you can then turn around and serve and be better for everyone in your family or um, your clients or uh, a better teammate at your job. So it's really important to spend time to work on yourself so then you can then give back and take care of other people. Um, now for myself personally, um, there was a long time I was a super hater on personal development. I was like, who needs these self-help books, right? Um, but what we don't realize is we have so many walls up and so many like mental things that we deal with that we don't even realize are like a thing for us. Um, a big one that I dove into about a year or so ago um, I read this book, it was called The Abundance Code, and it was all about your relationship with money, which was really important because I grew up in a family where, you know, there wasn't a lot of extra money going around, and then all of a sudden, I started making some, and then when, as a personal trainer, you're like, what should my rates be? And I at the time, I was living in California, so the pretty much regular hourly rate for a personal trainer it's like $125 an hour. And you're like, whoa, that is a lot of money. Like, I wouldn't pay that for, like, to have a trainer. But you have to get over that. Like, those are the things you have to start getting over. And you have to, you know, number one, prove to yourself that you are valuable. Like, I know what I bring to the table could change people's lives and could make them become an amazing athlete. So... I am worth it. But you know, those are things that like, I know I had to get over just because my upbringing, but it also is a lot of thing, a lot for other people too, they have to get over. So diving in and finding somebody that you relate to, either an author or a podcast, of someone you really relate to that's gonna help you work through some of those things, or I guess just go to the therapy, did that too, super helpful. Um, so in addition to just like, filling up your cup and becoming a better, better person for you and for everyone that you interact with, you also want to find something that sparks your creativity. I don't know about you guys, but anytime I find like I'm in a bit of a slump or I'm struggling with um, creating or writing a new training program, it's often because I'm not being stimulated or I'm not, you know, I'm, I don't feel creative. Um, so what I do love to do is dive into either a book or a podcast or listen to somebody else that's who's super successful and use that to spark my interest to then be able to create something. Um, it is fun, not funny, but I think it's funny. Um, everyone you listen to who's like a super entrepreneur or has been like super successful and like even really wealthy they all spend so much time like meditating and reading daily. And it's funny because when you're like on the struggle bus to be, you know, the next whatever and be successful and kind of get out of debt or whatever, you're like, uh, how, how am I supposed to find another hour in my day to like read or to like meditate? I don't know if anyone else out there has like tried meditating, but it is hard. Like it is a legit skill. Um, I know when I'm like, okay, especially when I was working like a million psycho hours, you're like, okay, uh, I'm going to sit still for this 10 minutes and meditate and, and clear my mind. Watch, watch the thoughts go through my mind or like do a body scan. And you're like, either one, you're like me and you fall asleep. Or number two, you just get so pissed off that you can't 
clear your mind or you're trying to count to five without like your mind drifting and like, you know, it's monkey brain, you're like all over the place. So it's like one of those skills you super have to develop and, um, or you could just start listening to different things that are going to spark your interest. So like two ideas right there. Um, and then I really think it's important to either get yourself around a team or go to conferences or to learn different things and go and really seek out resources that are going to like prevent burnout basically because I know for myself and a lot of other people, when you kind of just get it stuck in this like silo uh, of working on your own or um, where you're always, you know, having to do something by yourself, you get burnt out pretty darn quick or all of a sudden you realize what am I doing? Like, why am I doing this? Like, I'm always by myself or, you know, I'm just, you know, interacting like, you know, me and, you know, my intern or something um, and you're like ah, I need more stimulation right so a lot of times going to conferences going to live events listening to like a guru in your field or even like a guru in a different field will just spark that interest and like get you out of your like burned out negative talk which I think is pretty darn common for a lot of us so I hope those few things help. I would love to hear kind of what you guys are doing for personal and professional development. If you're one of my personal trainer friends, I would love to hear what you guys are doing at your gyms and at your clubs for like staff development. Um, I know in the college scene, lots of times, um, every, like a staff will have a staff meeting and you'll be able to chat and learn or someone will present on a new, you know, technology or something because there's always so much going on there but for those of you who kind of work work independently I would love to hear what you guys are doing one for yourself personally but also what are you guys doing professionally and kind of what resources are out there because I would love to number one dive into some of those myself and then also be able to share those with other personal trainer friends of mine so I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day uh, I got really excited to make my coffee for this little chat so I'm gonna finish up my coffee coffee. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them below or send me a DM and would love to answer them on the next live. So thanks so much for tuning in and I will catch you guys later. Bye. Let's see. Oops. Let's see how long this takes me to shut off today. And yes, I would like to end. You too would like to